This whole thing is just a huge pile of. <laughs> oh my god, they're coming! <laughs> just keep moving. Ah! What is it? Good morning. morning! And welcome back to Borneo. We're now in Mulu National Park. In the jungle. Which is famous for two things caves and bats. Millions of bats. That's what we're going above to see you. today. First the caves, then the bats. And hopefully no crocs in this river. Hopefully no crocs. Let's do it. Here we are, we're in the jungle on the way to the cave. We're already a solid 300 meters behind our tour group because what did we see? A butterfly that looked like a leaf. But it, it, it literally was a leaf. Did you get a photo of it? I got video, I'll put it in video. Video playing of the butterfly now. Boom. And we're back. We have to walk uh, three kilometers to get to the cave through the jungle, but it's all on this boardwalk, which is what it is, you know? It's, no, I like just, that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, Tilly likes that. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, it's quite long though. Is it venomous? <laughs> Not venomous, pick it up. Are there corporals and wipers around here as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You spot them during the night walk then, or sometimes uh, cobra is not that um, easy to spot. Little snake wow. swallowing a frog whole. Wholesome. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, he wants to get away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Is it on my head? Yeah. <laughs> it's on your head. Okay, you're little, very brave. Little stick insect. Yeah, hat. it's fine. It's coming back down the other side. It's fine. It's kind it's of good. ticklish. This one's very fragile. They're very fragile. I know. I don't want to break it. Yeah. That's the. It's clinging on to you. Oh, it loves me. Okay. Yeah, nice they look so delicate, don't they? Right. Oh, I've been, God, it's fucking adventurous here, eh? It's only like a kilometre in and we've seen a snake and a... <laughs> that was the first snake I've ever seen in the wild. In your life? In my life. Nah, that's not true. Oh, that's a lie, actually. I <laughs> just saw a pygmy squirrel now. Another one added to the list. About this big. It was so cute. Just running along with the I didn't even know they existed until five seconds ago. You said before it was a lizard. Well, it's so small, it looks like one. Guys, you don't understand how hot it is here. Look at me. Look at this. I love having a swimmy. Maybe our linen shirts aren't the way forward. But I'm really, like, we're losing a lot of salt. We need to, we need to take this seriously. <laughs> Should we drink the river water? We can see some mark yeah, on the yeah, tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where, long time ago, a local, before this area was a national park. It's a kind of the hunting area. Mm -hmm. In here, there, okay? So the hunting area because of the deer. Mm. Ah. So that's the reason why they give the name of the deer cave. So we local, before we go hunt them, we took something, the latex from this tree, where it's one of the poison to kill, to hunt the animal, mm. for hunting the animal. Wow. Yeah. We call it Ipo tree. Yeah. There's a toxic Rihanna. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, this, is really cool. this must be the uh, calling it. Didn't come out. outside of the biggest cave in the world. Wow, well, imagine if they come out. Yeah, so this is the Bat Exodus mm. Observatory. We're just going to have a short 10 minute break before we head into the cave. But we'll come back here later to hopefully see millions of bats turn the sky black. Oh my god, it smells so bad. Yeah, you can smell the bat shit. I'm Already. Wearing... What's that? I'm, I'm wearing my hat in here. That's why we bought the hats. Apparently they just shit on How many here. dollars were they, these hats? One. One Maybe dollar. Two, actually. Two dollars. Mr. DIY. What a shot. Oh, here we go. Into the legendary deer cave. It's slippy. It's shitty. It's wet. And it's filled with bats. Millions of them. 
and spiders. These spider webs. The opening for the entrance, and from that point to go to the ceiling is about 100 meter high. 100 meter. But the normal height inside about 120. Wow. 120 wow. meter. And the highest point in this cave 300 meter. Wow. Yeah. So, so three times that. There are 12 different species of bat live inside, and for one species, the ones that be IP. We will wet later. Two to three million <laughs> for the ring clip bed. Wow. What are the bats called that can fly out? Ring clip bed. Ring so lip the size bat. is not that big. It's got, so it's got lines, like ring, it's got wrinkly lip. And the reason why the bat <laughs> is now to fly out is because it's <laughs> food. You really just can't even tell how big it is. Pardon? Smell it bad. smells really bad. Guanu. There's so many cockroaches. This whole thing is just a huge pile of shit. Like, that Holy is shit. mental. But the problem is, I will get flu after. Oh no. Because, well, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'll get flu. Okay. No, the guano. Oh, no. When we look up to the ceiling, oh. you can see the millions of bats on the roof. Um, jangan pulau dek berkeli. All the black spots here. This is all the bats. Oh. The millions of bats. So the bats in here consume 15 tons of mosquitoes every day. That's why there are no mozzies here. We're just moving in. It is amazing. All our problems are sorted. I just can't get over how much there is. A whole lot of shit. There's a step here. There's a step here, careful. I've got to stuff it over Ed, Ed, thing. careful. Can you point the torch? Ed, can you? Oh, I have to stop filming, I don't know where I'm going. The reason the cave is so large is because of the fast water, jungle downpours that yeah, go through the cast limestone and I've been doing it for millions of years. This place is a bit surreal, isn't it? It is crazy here. It really is mental. I remember watching a, a documentary about this so many years ago, but I didn't even put two and two together and realise it was in Borneo until like yesterday when we planned our trip here. We only decided to come here yesterday. We flew across the island in a tin pot plane with propellers. And I'm glad we did. Yeah, the stench of shit is really getting bad now. I think it's when it's wet. And it's up here, like all of these black masses, which you probably can't even see, are just bats, millions of bats. Ed, it really stinks. The whole thing is just filled with like cockroaches and horrible creatures. Someone in our group just. Do I look at the cockroach? Oh, the cockroach is Ed. Oh, just is chilling in the bat shit. Oh, look at that cockroach. Another part or another entrance, the opening, it's what we call the Garden of Eden. Mm. So we're part of the mountain of the DK. In the middle was collapsed. One of the big door line collapsed. Happened a long time ago. Then when you go outside, it's all surrounding by the green. Yeah, wow. the green and the cliff of the cave. Wow. Your light. You shine up here. Up. Go higher. Go higher. Yeah. As if shower head. Yeah, that is natural. Wow. And Adam down the other side. Wow. Natural shower head. The bed is ready. Are they starting to fly? It looks like, yeah. So we need to go? If you want to run, yes. After run, you get to the guano, you need to... Fall in the shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. Alright, so everyone, so I hope you guys enjoy with me with the 2K. Yeah. I'm sorry I, if I do too much job. No, no, what? We love the jokes. Oh, okay. Brilliant. We love the okay. jokes. So I hope you guys enjoy and thank you very much. Thank you.
see how lucky we are for the bat. Yeah. If you see the bat, means that we are very lucky. So I put that on my head. That is just huge. Eddie, Eddie, you could be poisonous. What are you doing? <laughs> right, we're heading out now. Out of the cave to see the bat exodus, hopefully, fingers crossed, where all the millions of bats you can hear and produce all of this shit fly out of here for a nighttime hunt. Fingers crossed, we'll see them today. Right, six o'clock, still no bats. We didn't come up like 6.20, 6.30, we should have back. I'm gonna really be really sad if I don't see bats today or tomorrow. Probably some sort of plant that you Probably was a plant. Probably brushed something in the jungle. Just another one of my many injuries that just yeah. keep piling up. The first people are leaving. They've given up. I'm not giving up till it's pitch black. Why are they leaving already? I don't believe. Everyone's disappointed in them. We we'll keep the faith. So we wait another 10 more minutes. It will be getting dark, even though when they fly we didn't see anything. Yeah, but why, anyway. would, why wouldn't they come out? I don't understand. It seems like good co good conditions, you know? It's really good. Depends on the luck. <laughs> Tourist poor, poor hygiene. Probably they don't, they don't, hygiene. They don't <laughs> like our smell. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I guess that poo is more smelly. <laughs> Even though sometimes when it rains, we say when it rains, they're not coming out. They come mm -hmm. out. They're coming out. Yeah. Halfway up there. There's nothing you can. I didn't see any the bat hop around. Usually when a sign, there you see the bat hop around. Yeah. yeah. There's one way up there. You oh, see it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one out there. Good spot. Bat hawk. Bat hawk. And then a hawk that eats bats. Yeah. There's a predator for the bat. Oh. Sometimes you get to see them three, four around. They're flying around. Yeah. At least there's one. Really? More and more people are leaving. I'm not leaving until I can't see my own hand a yard from my face. And then we're going to be walking back creepily in the dark. Yeah, we'll look some animals. Let's figure this though, you know, it's nature. It's, it's left up to chance, which makes it even more special when you do see it. So I mean, if you would just, if everything was guaranteed, it would just no way near be as fun. Mm. If we don't see him now, which doesn't look likely What's at this that? point, that's a hawk. It's flapping a lot. So there are bat hawks up there in the sky, and apparently the guys say that. Oh my god, they're coming! <laughs> no! <gasps> There's not many of them. <laughs> Everyone's getting so down. Everyone's running back. And no, is that it? You probably can't even see there's two little, oh there you go, little swarms of bats. But this is maybe the beginning, you know? Come on bats, follow your friends. <coughs> They're all coming out of the other side. So I can see them through that gap. What gap? Look, they're coming out the other side and going over the top. Going all the way over here. Coming out over here. Yeah, there, there, there. They're coming out of here and then all the way over the top. We're getting glimpses, but not quite what we're hoping for, but better than nothing. Another group over the top. You definitely can't see any of this because I barely can. We're leaving the bat place. The bat exodus observatory has failed us. We saw something. We saw a few. Um, which is better than nothing. Um, we're gonna walk home now, which is pretty dark, scary. pretty creepy. Show them the trick, the trick that we learned in Uncle Tan. I don't want to tell everyone. Why? Okay. It will ruin it. You hold the light like this. You literally see a huge spider there. And then you can see people's, uh, peoples. You can see different creatures' eyes. 
and you know where they are. That's There's a huge one up here, eh? Huge spider? So using the trick we just showed you where you line it up with your eye and then you their that eyes is absolutely hideous. We just found this spider like one second after we told told you about the trick. It's a cool one, isn't it? I think that might be a red ant or acid ant. That ant is huge. Probably can't turn on the camera. I think that's the biggest ant I've ever seen. Oh wow. Firefly, turn your light off. No, you can't see it without the light. Times like this, I wish we had a better camera, but you know, that's life. Look at that fine specimen. Look at its legs. They're like, they're like rippling waves. You know what I mean? Wow. That is crazy. It's pit vipers that hang from the trees. They hit like on the low bit there. Just careful because they apparently attach to the the light. Look at those ants. Another huge ant. That's even bigger than the yeah. last one. Look Fuck. at the fucking size of that thing. It's about as big as my thumb. A frog. I nearly stepped on the frog. There. Oh, it's a tiny little frog. He's gone. we got our own night walk going here. We do, and I'm terrified of it. <laughs> Stick so there's just so many animals on me right now. Nice yellow stick insect. It's really nice. Really nice. The only thing we're really trying to avoid right now are king cobras. Right, if one of them's on the path and we step on it, it's not going to end well for us. Everything else is, is, is manageable. You have to, I, I can't. There's something up ahead on the path. Ed, I can't zoom in with it. We're, oh, we're hoping it's a hose. We can't focus on it on the camera. So I'm moving in. It's a hose pipe. It's a hose pipe. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a hose pipe. Yeah, either that or the biggest snake I've ever seen in my whole life. It's a hose pipe, it's a hose pipe. We thought this was a giant snake, which it could have been to be fair. <coughs> it's getting creepy out here. I really am, yeah. You have a nice Can time? Can have my torch back? I like my torch. Okay. <laughs> we found spider number two of our nighttime self-guided spider hunt. I think, what did you say it was? I think it's a wolf spider. A wolf spider. Nah. Right, Ed, that's enough. Should we go up here? Ed, no. Come on. I'm being really brave. What is it? Bat. What? Bat, just a bat. Just keep moving. We're nearly there, I think. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> Isn't it a lantern bug? We found another creature. I, I don't really know what it is. It's like a lantern bug slash praying mantis yeah. slash stick insect. Really weird. Mm. Really cool though. Coming down, he's eating a spider. I think it is a spider. Mm. It's like, ah, it's a huge spider. Good job, lizard. He's gone. One less spider for us to run into. We're going to be here all night at this yeah. rate. Right. It's not horse? somewhere you want to spend the whole night, I don't Where's think. I've got it, I've got it. Take it. Thank you. Thank God we have head torches as I well. Thought, I thought that because we weren't going to go back, weren't we? We don't know what these are. Leaf eaters. <laughs> Second crazy millipede or centipede? I don't really know of the day. We won't linger too long as we've already seen that. Another lizard. It's gone. Smaller version of the one we saw earlier. We've made it back. Whew, that was a bit of a mission. 
but we've made it out of the jungle. We're just finally having some water because I kid you not, I, I don't have ever sweated this much in one day and I've been to some hot places. It's actually, yeah, it's insane. It's insane. I've never, I've never felt heat like it to be honest. I think it's worse than India. The humidity is, is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, what, what an amazing day. I mean, Ed, do you feel you come up allergic to something? Oh God. Putting a plant in the jungle. Is it itchy? No, I can't even feel it. Um, anyway, uh, my brain doesn't work. This, this day's been amazing. I think my favourite day in Malaysia so far, and I didn't think I'd say that, so I don't usually like organised things, but that cave was obviously just completely mind-blowing. Like, mind I've just, I, I don't think we could ever visit a cave again now after seeing that. It was just insane. Yeah. All the animals we saw on the walk to the cave, all the animals yeah, yeah. we saw. Oh, Terry McCassie. Oh my God, he's so fast. James is here. Okay. We caught him and he's picking us up. All the animals we saw on the walk back from the cave, the bats, just obviously brilliant. slightly disappointing, but that's, that's life. And at least we saw a few of them. We're going to go back at another time to hopefully see them again. Sorry, gang, I'm just organizing our stuff. Yeah, just, just, just that, su such um, an epic day. Like I said, I think my favorite day in Malaysia so far, and we've had some epic days here. That um, white tarantula will stay with me for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, that spider we saw was, was we started the night one was truly, truly horrific. And our yeah, legendary homestay owner, time. James, is here to pick us up. So we're going to jump in his whip and oh. head home. Run away so, from these animals. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.